Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. <clears throat> Time to make a video. Yeah, it is 10 o'clock in the morning here in West Michigan. It is March the 12th. It's a Sunday. And uh, since my wife has gone to church and I'm sitting here in the dining room, you know, I've been sitting in this dining room going on 33 years. This is where I usually sit. And uh, as I, I like this area because it's full of light. There's windows all around. I can see outside. And we have a sunroom. I can look out in the backyard. And our door has the windows. I can look out into the street. And, and there's a table. I can put all my books and... Uh, down the lower level, it's kind of dark. It, it really needs new lighting. It, the, the ceiling needs to be replaced. It's not insulated. It's kind of dark and kind of, it's like a, I call it a dungeon. <laughs> it's like a dungeon. But up here, it's kind of quiet. I have a study, a main study. I can go into my study I did years ago. I used to go in my study a lot when the kids are growing up, but uh, now I just hang out here. My wife uses our old, our daughter's old bedroom for her. Her, uh, she has a big table in there, fold out, and that's where she goes. And she just sits over there. <laughs> but uh, my wife. But. So I'm writing in my diary as my habit is. As you know, I'm a diarist. I'm on page. I just finished a page. I'm on my. I'm going on my third page this morning. I'm on page 210. I already wrote 209. Goes into my March 2023 folder. Yeah. We're going the middle of the week, so I go into my second folder when we hit March the 16th because it's kind of hard to uh, put a whole diary, one month of diary entries into one folder. It just gets crammed because I put, like I said, I put stuff in the pocket. Re receipts and things I copy off from our printer and stuff here. So I have a physical this this week, my six month physical. So uh, this is all. I, I had my blood work done two weeks ago, and these are the results. My since my wife is a retired professional nurse. She read my blood work, my lab, my labs, and I'm in, I'm in good health. <laughs> There's nothing seriously wrong with me, uh, health-wise. I'm, uh, I'm just a normal old man. <laughs> so yeah, I'm writing in my diary, drinking coffee, and I was gonna read. Uh, yesterday morning, I read engaging the doctrine of the Holy Spirit, the love and gift in Trinity and the Church. I read this book until I became cross-eyed. <laughs> it's really a very dense, very academic. But, I don't know, to me, you read something and maybe you don't get everything, but you you might get a, something. Uh, you just have to keep reading and reading these kinds of books and then you understand more and more as the years go by. So, But this morning I'm reading On the Holy Spirit by Robert Latham. This is a little bit more not so dense. This one, it's, uh, so I'm reading this one On the Holy Spirit. I was reading on the Some, uh, so I know I was just reading this. So. And the other morning I read By Faith, Not By Sight, Paul and the Order of Salvation by Richard B. Gaffin, Jr. 
and then I've been reading this little pamphlet, The Lord's Supper, Eternal Word and Broken Bread by Robert Latham. So this is what I've been reading in the mornings. Of course, my wife and I have been reading for devotions. The Christian's great interest. We're almost done with this. And then I think this week we'll start reading John Calvin's Institutes of Christian Religion, which will take us a long time, but a deep dive into Calvin's Institutes. <clears throat> so, so yeah, it's a new week. Uh, we're going in the middle of the month. Spring is coming. Right now, it's kind of uh, a little snowing outside. <clears throat> um, I've been getting a lot of books from the book nook because I've mentioned in the last several videos that the library is taking books out of circulation, withdrawals, and I am just um, inundated with books. <laughs> and it's books that I have, it's interesting, the books that are being withdrawn are books that I have looked at and want, wanted to buy. Uh, or books that are, are things that I collect. So I've been buying a lot of books from the book nook lately and uh, I always tell myself I'm, uh, when I go to the book nook I'm not going to buy any books I'll just buy one I think the other day when I came home I think I had when I got home from the book nook Friday I had how many books did I have I had let me count them I had one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen books I bought at the book nook last Friday. And uh, yeah, I spent almost thirty dollars. And uh, so, yeah, I've been using the money, uh, as I mentioned, uh, for many years, for about thirty years, I had an old van an old Dodge van that I bought in the 90s and we sold the van and bought another car. Uh, my wife's been driving the new used car and I've been driving her old Subaru. And But we sold the van and my wife and I split the money. <laughs> so I've been sp using that money to buy used books. And um, but there, the uh, the pile is dwindling. <laughs> it's okay. I don't really need any more books, and I have plenty to read. And but if you're a bookworm and you see a book at a thrift store or a used book or a library used book sale, you, it's hard to resist because um, it's just hard. And I'm going to show you a, a couple of the books. This video is basically what I was been what I was reading last week. I showed you what I've been reading in the mornings, and <clears throat> this is what I've been reading in the uh, throughout the day. I got this book in the mail last week, "The Hive" by Camilo Jose Sila. I've been reading this. I almost read half of it, 124 pages. Translated by James Walmick. Uh, this is, he, uh, see how he won, winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature. So I've been reading this last couple of days. And then I was reading, I got this, this is a library withdrawal. B and Me, A True Story of Literary Arousal by J.C. Hallman. When I saw this book, it's a library withdrawal, is, um, it's kind of like, it's like a memoir, but uh, J.C. Hallman is writing his, well, what drew me to the book is it's about Nicholas Baker. Nicholas Baker, uh, 
Nicholson Nicholson Baker and Nicholson Baker is a writer that I collect his writings and Nicholson Baker wrote a book called uh, it was you and I and what it was it was Nicholson Baker's uh, getting how John Updike influenced him as a writer and why and so what he does in this book B and me Holman B stands for Baker Nicholson Nicholson Baker so it's the same kind of idea that he is immersing himself Holman into the writings of Nicholson Baker and writing about his it's almost like a literary criticism or a literary biography on Nicholson Baker but at the same time it's a meditation on Holman as a writer and his own journey as a writer and reflections on being a writer and reading another writer and he also teaches literature uh, uh, writing Holman he's written a lot several books but but reason why this book drew me to my attention is that I've I've read Nicholson Baker and so it's kind of like it's his discovery of the writings in the life of Nicholson Baker and then how he interacts with Nicholson Baker's books uh, so I don't know if that makes sense but that's what drew me to the book another book I, I read I finished this book pretty much is a life discarded 148 diaries found in the trash by Alexander Masters this was also a library withdrawal now you know why this book drew my attention it's because I'm a diary keeper so when I read this 148 diaries found in the trash a life discarded 148 diaries so it's a book it's it's like a memoir of Alexander Masters who wrote another book that I read a couple of years ago and I can't even remember it Stuart a life backward I read that and I can't remember I know I read this but I can't remember anything so I I I got it back out to look at this week to refresh my memory but he also wrote this book it's like a memoir about him a friend of his finds these diaries in a, in a, a dumpster and she gives them to Alexander Masters and it's 148 diaries starting from I think they start in the 60s on up until the 2000s and he's trying to find out who this person was because nowhere in the diaries is a name there's a name there are well there's like first Nick Laura but so he spends five years trying to find out who this person was he finds out it's a woman he finds out all these different things about this woman who wrote these diaries but as you're reading this you're wondering well, how did the diaries get thrown out into the dumpster and so as you go through the book he's searching trying to find out who this woman is in her life and so and he quotes from the diaries and he writes about how he tries to find information about her like a private detective he goes to a, a handwriting expert he goes to um, in the diaries or different schools that are mentioned a library is mentioned and so he's trying to track her down and finally after five years he tracks her down so it's kind of interesting if you're into diaries and people who write diaries and she uh so I find that very interesting I got this we went around Grand Rapids I told you last week my wife and I went to Grand Rapids we went to Baker Bookhouse and 
Reformation Heritage Books. We went to a thrift store and we always stop at this Goodwill there in Grand Rapids and I bought this book for a dollar. Dear Mr. Fantasy, uh, a diary of a, of, of a decade text photographs by Ethan A. Russell. And what Ethan A. Russell was, is he was a photographer. He, back in the 60s, he, he, he took, he, oh, it's a long story how he got into photography and how he became a photographer of, of rock, of rocks, rock and roll. Well, he was a photographer for the Rolling Stones band. <laughs> and he was on their tour in 1968. And he took all these photos of Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. But what the it's also a diary of his of his leap of his of that decade. How he grew up and how he got into rock and roll music and how he got into the sixties. He went through the sixties, he you know, smoked marijuana, took L S D, he went to England, he wound up through pro all kinds of ways, he be uh, be became a photographer for the Rolling Stones band, and he went on tour with them. And then he wound up not only taking photography of of uh, the Rolling Stones, but also he wound up taking pictures of the Beatles. And he talks about the Beatles and. Here's a photography of the Beatles. Very famous photo. And how he met John Lennon. And, and then he also did photography for the band The Who. And he went on tour with them. And, and But he took other photos like James Taylor. And other rock stars of the 60s. There's a picture of Mick Jagger. So it's like a diary of him growing up and going through the 60s. He was in San Francisco in the 60s, late early 60s, High Ashbury. And then he went to London and then he met Mick Jagger in the Rolling Stones. And then he met um, the Beatles and then he started being a rock photographer and so that's but it's a diary too about that time period so it's a diary of a decade so that's why I like about it see there's other photography and um, there's a big thing here at the end of John and Oko So I was reading this. I'm still reading it. Um, so these are things I kind of read when I'm not reading my Christian books or writing in my diary or watching the birds or talking to my wife. I don't really go anywhere. Uh, I go to I go to the book nook on Mondays and Fridays. Like this week, I have to go to my physical, which I I don't like appointments. I don't like having things to have to do. I like just staying home, writing in my diary, just drifting through the day, reading my books, uh, going to internet, watching videos, and reading about all the horrible things going on in the world, uh, you know, praying, seeking to live in the presence of God, trying to get through the morning and afternoon and evening and just trying to live a simple, quiet life as I wait to go to heaven. So that's why I'm reading Be and Me, A True Story of Literary Arousal by J.C. Hallman. Uh, I, I finished this book, A Life Discarded, 148 Diaries Found in the Trash by Alexander Masters. Dear Mr. Fantasy, A Diary of a Decade, Text and Photographs. So here's some more pictures of the Beatles. Yeah, I remember being into the Beatles when I was like 11 years old. But I was more into the San Francisco bands when I was in 
growing up, I wasn't really... I had the Beatles White Album. I don't really have... I have CDs by the Rolling Stones, the greatest hits. But I was more into like Bob Dylan, Van Morrison, Jefferson Airplane, uh, Boss Sags, Joy of Cooking. And then I became a Christian in t when I was like 18 and 19 and I didn't listen to any music for many years until we moved to Houston, Texas. And then I got back into music back in the 90s. I got into music again. So yeah, so that's what I'm reading. I'm really enjoying reading The Hive. I'm probably mispronouncing his name, but he's considered one of Spain's greatest writers. <laughs> but I noticed last night, there's not much, he wrote, he wrote a lot of books. He wrote a dictionary on erotica. He wrote travel logs. He wrote novels. He wrote essays. And he wrote novels, but this is the only, there are, I think there are two other books, more novels, that have been translated. And I can't figure, if he's such a great Spanish writer, why don't they translate all of his works into English? So anyway, I've been reading this. And as always, I'm always reading the Holy Bible. Can't go wrong reading the scriptures every day. Like I said, my wife and I were almost finished with reading The Christian's Great Interests. Start reading Calvin's Institutes. Right, and so yeah, I hope you have a good reading week. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for your comments. As I always say, if you want to know more about what I read in my life, read my online diary, Crooked Fingers, uh, because this video will be, and I'll post into my online diary, Crooked Fingers. And I also take photos of birds, and and I put all kinds of stuff into my online diary about what I'm reading and more information about the books and writers that I mentioned in these videos. So once again, thank you for your comments. Do pray you have a good reading week. I might make another video, Monday Reads, show you the books, the used books that I have bought recently or last week. So I'll sign off because this is going to come to a close. Once again, have a good reading week and pray that you're all doing well. Bye.